Hi there, this is your girl Bridget Ekpo and you're watching Obodoibo TV. Today I'm talking about Africans who live abroad, work two, three jobs, save all their income towards building houses in Africa. Some people work so hard. If you've watched my previous video, then uh, where I talked about people who work so hard and how it's so difficult to make money abroad. However, some people work so hard, they do two, three jobs, they do not enjoy a good quality of life in Obodo Ibo or overseas because all their income goes towards building these houses. A lot of people have been duped, a lot of people have lost massive income, a lot of people have lost their savings, all to this dream of having a house in Africa. Some people don't even live in good houses here. Some people live in a one-room apartment or a shared apartment, do two, three jobs, like I say. They can't afford to go to the barbers and you wear one coat for one year just because they want to save every money that they make. I don't blame people who want to build houses in Africa. Everybody wants to have property. However, what is the merit of having a property in Africa when you live in Squalo? or when you leave Fruga overseas. In March, we heard about the story of a man who is from Ghana and has lived in the United Kingdom for a number of years. He went to Africa for a friend's funeral. Now, this man has lived and worked in the UK, like I said, for a couple of years, and he's 60. And they had a house, a property that he, he built in Ghana, and he had a house boy, what is commonly referred to as a house boy in Africa, which means domestic help, who was living in this property. And this man was on a visit and got into an argument with, his, with the help. And he was subsequently killed and burnt alive, which was a great tragedy. Now his family couldn't locate him. They were looking for him. The story is online. Anybody can check it out. And this man, just lost his life tragically because of greed. The story about this man goes that he had an argument with his house help um, over some maintenance money. And this man has helped this boy. He spent money on him. He set up a shop for him in his house to live in. But yet this young man did not even consider all that this man has done for him. But because he, he thought that he could get away with it, he actually, you know, beat this man up and burnt his body and hid it until he was subsequently caught by the police. My point is several other people, including family members of mine, have lost money, massive money, all in the hope of building a house in Africa. Now, some people that I know or have heard all over abroad has worked really hard to build this house. They've sent money to uncles and aunties who have embezzled this money, stolen this money, some people even go to the extent of going to, you know, snap other people's houses to send them the pictures to say, this is the house I'm building for you. And they spend that money, squander that money without a thought. Now, we all know, those who live abroad all know how difficult it is to get money. I, I think I've spoken a lot about it in my previous video. So my question is, what is the merit of building a house, a mansion in Africa while living Fruga abroad? You see some men, they work very hard, but because they are saving every single penny that they earn towards building these houses in Africa, they cannot afford to live, to even look after themselves. They cannot afford to change their clothes properly. They cannot afford to go on holidays. They can't afford to go on holidays. And they can afford to do all these things, but because they are busy saving every single penny that they've got towards building these houses in their villages, they don't spend any money on themselves. So they neglect themselves. People neglect themselves all in the hope of building a mansion in Africa. Now, we all know that houses that you build in a country that you don't live in is considered a holiday home. It's even worse for people who haven't got their immigration status settled. How often do you go to Africa? How often do you visit? What is the hope that you're ever gonna live in that house? You haven't bought a house where you live. You're not comfortable. Some people don't even get married because they, they don't want to spend money to get married. They don't want to spend money to have children, but they would rather send that money to an auntie 
or an uncle in Africa. I ask you, what is the merit of that? It's even worse for people who haven't sorted out their immigration status. You have no time or date for which you are going to go back to Africa. So you keep working. But should you work so hard, enslave yourself, all because of someone else? Is it right that you should work and live frugal while someone else is enjoying? Some people even live large in Africa from the monies that you send to them. They buy their own houses, they buy cars. Some of them marry more than one wife, three wives with your money. And you are here in winter wearing layers and layers of coats, going out there to work, doing two, three jobs for someone else to enjoy. Stop it. I said stop it. It is wrong on all levels. Hi guys, this is your girl Bridget Techpo and this is Obodo Ibo TV. If you've enjoyed my video, please subscribe, like my videos and share. And together we hope to bring a change into our communities of African people who live overseas. Thank you. Bye.